Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today I come to you a la naked. Yes, I am naked. Um, I have absolutely nothing on my skin, no toners, no moisturizers, nothing. I simply got in the shower and washed my face. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of products that I've been using. Uh, uh, my hair is up and washed because I'm going to be doing my uh, another drugstore shampoo with my opinions and a little review on those so I'll be recording those videos later. Anyway, um, you all know I have dry skin. The weather is changing. It gets much drier. I'll actually insert a picture of my eyes at this point so that you can see just how dry I get and unfortunately I am battling hives at the same time and I now know that it's definitely something internal. It is nothing externally that I'm doing to my skin. It is definitely internal uh, and I am working on that. I've added some supplements. I really have researched hives up the yin yang here and back. I swear I have. So uh, I am excessively dry right now and I needed to tweak a little bit. People always think, I always get comments that I have beautiful skin, I have perfect skin. My skin is not perfect. Right now I'm sporting a little pimple right here. I have to say, my friends, and I know so many of you want me to hear me say wonderful things about this product, but I cannot use the Timeless Vitamin C Serum. Every single time I use this product, I break out every single time and I have given it about I've given it quite a chance and it's just not working for me so I cannot use the timeless now I did do a little bit of researching on it and they do state in many of the reviews that are done on it if you have any sort of sensitivities to your skin you should go with SkinCeuticals CE for Rulip over the timeless because for some reason the SkinCeutical it has other ingredient in it that this one does not I'm not putting this product down I'm saying it does not work for my skin I always break out and my skin doesn't need to purge because I take care of my skin and I clean it regularly and I mask and I do all kinds of wonderful things for it I just never break out and when I do it's because I put something by Estee Lauder on my face and the this just not and I tried it several times I uh, cut back on things added them back in slowly and this is the one that's causing the breakup so that will not be uh, a product that you will ever see me using all right so uh, with my excessive dry skin I have to figure out ways to help it out I drink tons of water you all know I live a very healthy lifestyle I eat great healthy fats lots of water I exercise I sweat to get the toxins out I do everything well I'm not perfect but I try to live a very good healthy life because it matters to me so anyway I thought I would just show you some new products that I have not all of them are necessarily for dryness but I have talked about puffy eyes and Joelle actually said to me that I should try the Clinique um, All About Eye Serum Deep Puffing Eye Massage Roll On Deep Puffer. So I thought, well, I haven't, I haven't tried it. I just got it in the mail. I'm going to give it a shake. Joelle keeps hers in the refrigerator. Now uh, I'm going to do one eye just so we can see. Uh, I don't know how puffy my eyes. They're showing up pretty puffy. I'm puffy all the time. But I'm going to try one eye, and as time goes on, we'll see if it deep puffs me because, um, you know. I just have some heavy duty. I should have brought a mirror and I did not. So let's hope I don't poke myself in the eye because my contacts won't like that. So I'm just going to go as close as I can and I'm just going to put that all on. It's supposed to be one of those caffeine depuffers. And I'll also tell you if I have a problem because any, I don't use a lot of Clinique. I don't use a lot of Estee Lauder. Some products give her here and there I can use. So I'm not, right now I'm just feeling a coolness. So we're just going to let this sit while I'm doing the video and we'll give you, um, we'll see. You can watch it and see what happens to me, okay? So take a good look right now, okay? All right, the next thing I did is my lips uh, were starting to really peel badly. So I have been seeing everywhere on Instagram, I think that this company saturated every Google out there, except for moi, they didn't, I had to buy it. Um, and it's called the Perfect Pout Lip Mask Lip Balm Duo. It's supposed to hydrate, plump, protect. 
Oh, and let's get the elephant out of the room. Many people are saying that I had tons of fillers put in and this and that. I did not, my friends, and I told you, and I swear by this, I will never go and do something and not come and tell you I did have the bottom line filled in. That might be a separate video if you're interested, um, but I had the lines, nothing went into my lips, nothing. He, and you'll see, because I took a picture, I did video of myself the day after, just to show you my results. Uh, it has settled in, and he just, he filled the outer part. I had lost all this volume and all this volume, and my mouth was sinking in. It was terrible, and in real life, it was more noticeable than on camera. So uh, I did have that, but please, you think you're talking amongst yourself in the comments and that I'm not hearing what you're saying to me. Um, I, I, I did not go and have plastic surgery. I did not, for God's sakes, I put up three videos a week. How am I gonna heal from all that stuff, okay? So trust me, my friends, I'm not going to lie to you. I will tell you, I had the filler put in and it was Restylane silk around the bottom part of my mouth and here. And when you look at my mouth now, I think my lips are identical. The fullness came back here, okay? And I know I'm gonna get, I guess your serums, lotions, and potions don't work for you. There is nothing, nothing on the market that is going to bring back volume. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I don't come on here and say that it does, but Skincare is needed, okay? So don't think you can just give up your skincare and go start poking needles in your face to look good again because it's not gonna work, okay? Anyway, let's get back to the mouth. So now I went and bought this. Um, the plumping part, we'll see. I'm gonna put it on right now. It's a little mask and it is made up of enzymes. I feel, in my opinion, the enzyme that are used in here are very mild so I don't feel that irritation I actually feel my eye tightening up a little bit okay uh, it's just a cream it's a very small jar, jar I think it was like $20 I will link everything I'm talking about below um, and I got it at Sephora so you just take a little bit of it and I'm gonna look good when we're done here and you just rub it on your lip and you're supposed to go on the outer part of your lip and right on and the reason why I got this is because my lips are really dry now and I'm afraid that they'll start cracking and bleeding like my feet do uh, during this kind of weather okay so you just put a thin layer of this on it tastes good and it's very very creamy and you just put a layer of the mask on and that's it. And you just leave it, okay? Um, I put it on before I go and do my makeup. And uh, <clears throat> what it does is the enzymes will work at exfoliating lightly. And so far, since I've been using this, I've had absolutely no dryness to my lips. So that is kind of making me happy. Now Glam Glow has theirs out now, so of course I'm going to have to try that for all of my friends. And I have been using this since, I wrote the date on the box, since October 1st, I started using this so that I could tell you uh, and let you know that I have been using it for more than one day because I don't think you can get a really good opinion of using something one day. And it does come in this little package with a little, it does have a little um, spoon that you can take it in and take it out, but I just stick my finger in there. The jar is kind of little for that, small. But for this video, I just stuck it in there. Why not, okay? And then uh, when you leave this, after you leave this on, uh, you will put their lip balm on, which is very slippery. I don't wear this one. I wear it when I'm around the house, but I can't wear it under a lipstick. It's just too slippery. But we'll come back to that after I take that off and we'll put that on so that you can see the effect it has on the lips. Now, right now, what am I feeling? A very mild tingle sensation, very cooling effect to it, okay? So um, I bought this from Tony, Mo Tony Moly. It's the Blackhead Steam Balm. I think they just caught me because it's cute, you know? So anyway, what this is, is it's supposed to remove sebum and dead skin cells and clog pores. Now, as we age, pores become a problem. Look how cute it is. You know my peeps. Look, my peeps, a little chick egg. I haven't said peeps in so long because I it just aggravated way too many people. But I want you to know 
For those of you who loved me saying that you are my peeps, you are my peeps forever. Okay, so uh, Blackhead Steam Bomb. Now I thought, okay, the name of it, I thought, well, maybe you have to steam with it, but you don't. And it just comes like this. I have not tried this. This is my first time trying it. And this is what it looks like in the jar. And I believe it says, uh, apply in appropriate areas. Um, and then let's see where your blackheads are and gently massage for three to five minutes, wash off with lukewarm water. And I, okay. I purposely did not clean, do my oil cleansing this week so that I could try this mask. So we're gonna take a little bit of it and we're gonna put it on our nose and it's a very Vaseline-like feeling. It has a light, a very light scent, almost floral, but I'm sure that it's not. So we're just gonna rub this in. All right, I don't think it's recording. Yes, the red dot's showing. Hmm. Okay, so we're just gonna keep massaging it in and go up into your T-zone area a little bit because that's, I have little big pores there. So you wanna make sure that you're really cleaning them out. It smells rather nice. Okay, it's not acting up now. I'm watching the thing. Oh, I see, I, I can't see very well. Let me see something. Oh, it turns into a creamy foam. Oh, all right. I told you, I haven't used this. You're the first time. It doesn't have anything. It feels like it has little grains in it, but they dissolve. So I'm okay with that because I don't like to use products that have a lot of those beads in them. They're just not good for our waters. I mean, the fish are eating them and dying and, you know, it's just not good. So try to stay away from them. Okay, so I'm really gonna, this is where my pores are getting bigger with age. So we're really gonna massage that for three to five minutes and I probably will cut ahead. Okay, so I'm right about at the end. Oop, my magazine dropped off my lap. I'm right about at the end here. So I'm going to take a cloth, a warm cloth, and I'm gonna try to do it so I don't wipe off that Clinique that I put on. And I'm just going to remove this Having the dry skin that I get in the winter time, it gets pretty dry, but I don't want to stop doing the things I do for the other things that I feel need to be addressed on my skin, like cleaning my pores. And sometimes, you know, when you exfoliate or you use enzymes on dry skin, it can be a bit too much. So you got to be careful. Let me just clean up all around because I don't want to have any of it hanging out of my nose. <laughs> all right. So let me get my mirror. Okay, so I'm taking a look and they look pretty good to me. Wow, that's pretty good stuff. Okay, so I think the Tony Moly gets a two thumbs up, two fingers up, two thumbs up. It is the Egg Pour Blackhead Steam Balm. My skin feels fabulous where I did it, really nice. And I will do this a couple times a week, so I'm glad I bought this. And it was on, I think this was under $20. I think it was like $17 or $18. And for its green philosophy, blackhead steam balm for pores, egg pour. I say yes to this. Okay, so I ended up putting more of the Clinique um, Eye on because I kind of wiped it all off the Tony and Moly. So I want to give it a good chance, all right? So now I've had this on for three to five minutes. All you do is you wipe the mask off and you see most of it absorbs in. And you really don't feel anything. I don't, there's no, I don't think they look any plumper. Do you? I just don't think they do. So then we're gonna go ahead and put the lip balm on which has an SPF in it of 20, which is good. And it's very, very slick. That's why I don't think it can be worn under lipstick. It would just make your lipstick useless because it's not gonna stay on. So that is the gloss, which I think is very, very, very moisturizing. And it's very nice to wear around when you don't wanna have lipstick on but your lips really do feel nice and uh, exfoliated. I'm telling you so far, I'm usually like doing this already at this time of the year 
and I haven't been doing it. And the rest of my body is really suffering with these hives and the dryness that I can't imagine my lips not being dry with the rest of my body. I mean, my foot, there's a crack in my foot that is so bad I can barely do my workout in the morning, but I go forward. I just fill that baby up with Neosporin, put a Band-Aid over it, and go. But anyway, this really, it's really a nice mask treatment for the lips. It, you know, I mean, if you're expecting miracles and plumpness, don't bother, because it's not gonna give you that. You can see, my lips didn't plump up anymore, okay? So I like that. All right, I want to tell you about a sample I got, okay? This video might run a little long, but I have to tell you one of you suggested this to me when I was talking about puffiness for my eyes and eye creams. This is the Sunday Riley Start Over Eye Cream. I got a nice sample of it uh, at Sephora. I've been using it for about, well, since October 1st, I think. This eye cream is very, very nice, very nice. It's an active eye cream that corrects the appearance of puffy eyes, dark circles, and damaged skin. The cooling, lifting eye cream is formulated with key ingredients that correct, per protect, and nourish the delicate eye area while helping you appear more rested and alert. Um, photostable antioxidants for day use help support natural renewal, strength, and regeneration of the per periorbital tissues and instantly improves the appearance of fine lines and puffy skin. I have to tell you, um, when Sephora does their friends and family in early November, I will be buying this. It's $99 for the bottle, but I absolutely love the consistency of it. I'm going to go ahead and put it on on my other eye so you can see how beautiful this cream hydrates because, and I do right over the top, right to my brow, and one thing I love about it is it does not interfere. I should probably get a mirror, I have contacts in, and if I get that cream on there, I'm not gonna be happy girl, there we go. But it is really, I always try to push the fluid out into the temple area. That's a little bit of a drainage technique to try to help. But I'm telling you, this eye cream is just beautiful. I really love it. I told you that I use the SkinCeutical AOX uh, serum for the eye, and I think that one has really done wonders on my dark circles, or for my dark circles. Uh, the Sunday Riley Start Over Eye Cream is worth getting a sample at your Sephora and giving it a try. If you have very dry, crepey under eyes, I do, and my lid is also crepey. But I, I just feel it is really worth looking into. All right, another sample that I got is the Dr. Jark Water Mask Sleeping Mask. Uh, I'm really into a lot of these sleeping masks now. It has not cut me down doing any of my other masking, but the sleeping masks are really nice. You use them over your nighttime routine. I read about these a long time ago before they actually started hitting the market. I'm trying new contacts and this one's a little wonky. Um, but anyway, this, this night mask is very, very hydrating. Anyway, uh, I have been using it. It comes in a very, uh, this is what it looks like. It's just a white gel cream, which is very nice. But I know the question many people are going to ask about the nighttime mask, so I'll just go ahead and address it now. It does not get all over your pillow. These are formulated in a way that they almost form like a glove on your skin. And they don't get on your pillow. I use one of those copper sleeping pillows that I talked about a long time ago. A friend of mine purchased it for me um, or gave it to me as a gift. I'm sure she purchased it. I don't think she stole it. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, it's never on that pillowcase. Never. Ever. So I have been trying some others that are more affordable. And one of them is, I just saw this, and I, I've used it two times, and it really um, leaves my skin feeling very moist in the morning. That's what I judge it by, is how does it make me feel. In the and this one here is the Olay Active Botanicals. Um, I got this at Target. Runs in the $20 range, something like that. You know, people talk about drugstore skincare being more affordable. Um, sometimes, not always, okay? Some of the skincare I was looking at was really nice. 
So this is, uh, they are saying it's their snow mushroom extract authenticated by Royal Botanic Gardens. And it's an overnight moisture mask and it gives you hydration for 24 hours. And they consider this a treatment mask. And I have to tell you, it is very nice. Of course, there is odor. There's a, a perfume scent to it. But anyway, it's a very mild floral. It's not as bad as the, I had purchased the Revitalist um, by L'Oreal Nighttime Mask, and that one's highly fragranced. But I find L'Oreal is more highly fragranced than the Olay products. And Olay, you can get sometimes unfragranced. Uh, but anyway, this one is after cleansing and toning, massage a generous amount of product onto the face and neck, leaving a thin layer to absorb in the skin while you sleep. Use it twice a, uh, use it twice a week. Well, you can use it as much as you want. You can. Uh, anyway, I don't stop at my toner and then put this on. I do my moisturizer, everything else. Because when I was reading in my new beauty magazine a while ago, they talked about how uh, the nighttime mask are now an extension of your skincare. They're not meant to replace your skincare, but they're an extension. So I just add this over everything and it's just an extra little boost. So if you're interested in any of the nighttime uh, moisture mask, the drugstore is now starting to get some. And this one here is, uh, in my opinion, better than the L'Oreal Revitalist. And last but not least, no, I think I'm going to end this video right here, okay? I'm going to end it and I will move on to a part two for this video, okay? So let me know if you are trying, oh, let's see, how did the Clinique do? The two eye creams, one, both are supposed to work on puffiness. What do you think, my friends? I don't feel any difference. I did feel a slight pulling the first time I put this on, the second time I did not. But this eye cream is just, oh, I just love the way it makes, oh, the eye just feels so fabulous. And you know sometimes when you use an eye cream and it starts to pill underneath your mascara, I mean your foundation or concealer when you put it on, I don't get that with this. I like that. All right, so let me know if you're trying any of these products and stick around for part two because it'll be up next. I might put it on two days in a row. You never know. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. We're anti-aging here. Be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, and most of all, my friends, be lovable. I love you all. Bisous.